Hi folks and thanks for joining in my previous video where I was doing some fine tuning on the antenna section of the GE radio, the model HJ514. I also uh, made note of an oscillator coil that I was building as well. And uh, here's the uh, design, kind of captured all my metrics along the way. Thought I would share that. You can go to the uh, video description, show more and download a copy of the uh, spreadsheet. Again, no warranties, guarantees for the uh, spreadsheet design that uh, gets you in the ballpark, probably inductance-wise, uh, plus or minus uh, 5% or so is what I found based on uh, this build and one other build that I uh, performed most recently. So starting up here at the top, You'll notice I've got the uh, frequency range of the uh, receiver in kilocycles or kilohertz, 550 to 1650. And I've put a band limit to go uh, 10 kilohertz below that and 10 kilohertz above. And then you can see the IF frequency for this particular receiver is uh, 455 kilohertz. So that's denoted as well. And of course, I've just converted the oscillator frequency from uh, kilohertz back to megahertz for the uh, simple calculations. So the calculated inductance that I would need somewhere around uh, 161 microhenries. So plugging in the numbers, again, I used a uh, FT50-61 toroid. actually wound two of the uh, toroids and both were just a little different, but still in the uh, ballpark of the numbers here. You can see in my case, design-wise, uh, 48 total turns. Uh, don't worry about the point. You really can't wind a point turn with a, a toroid. It just turns through the center. And then 44 for the L2 section and, of course, the tap section closest to ground, only uh, four turns. And you can see the uh, calculated results here to the right of that, coming in right at 161 microhenries in total. And then the area in red, this is my latest build. And you can see it came in right at uh, 161. 135 and 1.45 for the tap section. And below that, I'm showing the mutual inductance as well, calculations. Again, that is just the uh, mutual inductance between the lower part of the coil and the second half of the coil is uh, energy is transferred back and forth. And then again, down at the bottom, just calculating the uh, complete coil in microhenries just to make sure it uh, matches the design and it does. Also denoted, you can see I've got a few notes here. I started out with five or six windings on the lower half of the coil. Um, too much feedback there and uh, poor performance and my oscillator grid current was uh, out of spec as well. I found in my case, again yours may differ, uh, four turns was a, a great number for that. And you can see for Hartley oscillators that were tube-based, the uh, typical tap point was around 9% from the earthed in for the broadcast band and about 16% for the shortwave band. In addition, you can see at the bottom here, I measured my uh, grid voltage and calculated the uh, grid current across the grid leak resistor R1, which in my case is 33,000 ohms. Many receivers, all American 5s, are 20,000 to 22,000. This one uh, is a little different. So again, to measure the grid voltage, I didn't want to load the oscillator circuit down. You guys have uh, probably seen me do this before in previous videos. A 1 meg ohm resistor. Take that voltage reading, divide by 9 times 10. Over to the right, I measured the capacitance of the oscillator section 
of the tuning condenser once it was back in the receiver, back at the point where C20, you can see in the pop-up I'm showing here, intersects or crosses the uh, tuning condenser section. I broke that point, set the trimmer to the center position, so 163 to 39 picofarads is what I saw at that point. Then the range on the trimmer itself is about 10 picofarads, plus or minus. And for this particular uh, design, you can see the areas highlighted above in green. This is kind of where the design falls. So adjustments are possible with the uh, trimmer to uh, resonate properly. And again, the inductance uh, being very, very close in the initial design to make the uh, tracking accurate as well for this particular uh, oscillator circuit. Again, there's no patter on this design. This has the uh, cut plates for the uh, tuning condenser itself. So I hope you found that helpful. Again, I'll uh, post the uh, spreadsheet to check the uh, URL in the video description itself if you want to download a copy again just use it no warranties no guarantees but uh, it definitely provides maybe a guide or starting point to uh, wind a new coil if uh, your old coil should fail or be open thanks again for watching everyone take care stay well